Hi Daily Dosers, this is Terry. Today is Monday, April 1st, 2013, and um, I really want to do an April Fool's joke. My, my dad was a huge prankster, and um, I wanted to put on a big circus nose and say, only 1% of the people get a side effect of circus face. <laughs> But I didn't go buy a red nose, anyway. Okay, so no practical jokes today. Um, the um, I had a weird thing happen yesterday. I, I You know me by now, if you've been watching. I do not do medical stuff well at all. I can hardly look at where my incisions were, let alone, you know, mess with them. But I just got to the point where I can put Mederma, it's for scars, uh, on them. And I started uh, just like yesterday, maybe, I think this weekend sometime, putting Mederma on the incision above my port, where they put the port in. And I thought there was just a little scab there, and so I was just going to, like, remove it. And it turned out it was a, like a, a plastic suture, like a string, and it, like, came out of my body. I'm like, I mean, it's still there. It just, part of it. I pulled on it, and part of it came out of my body. I was freaking out. I kid you not, this is not April Fool's. And <laughs> I don't handle this stuff at all. I get really lightheaded. You know, I feel like I'm going to pass out. And Jim and I were both under the understanding that they glued this incision, that it wasn't sutured. There was nothing to absorb, nothing to remove. Not like my abdominal, where there was staples to remove. I don't know if you remember that. <sighs> Still in counseling over that. I'm kidding. Oh, God. Okay, um, and so I've got this string hanging out of a plastic suture like thing hanging out of my incision. Good Lord. So last night I wigged out. I was just so done with everything. And Jim was so understanding and he was just trying to be there for me so much. And I, I, I absolutely felt delicate when I went to bed last night. And I got up this morning and I saw a post on a friend's Facebook um, that said, uh, don't be delicate, be vast and brilliant. So instead of rushing to the doctor this morning, I'm gonna wait, my appointment is Wednesday. I'm just gonna go see my surgeon, not my oncologist. I mean, I have an oncology appointment, but they're in the same building. So I'm gonna go to my surgeon just as a walk-in, try to work me in, just maybe have a nurse take a look at this thing hanging out of my body. But thank you, Sheila in Austin. I went to bed feeling delicate, and um, this morning I feel vast and brilliant. <laughs> so I refuse to be afraid. Last night I was afraid. Freaked out. I think I was just more freaked out than anything. I can't stand this. I'm the worst person to have medical stuff happen to. Such a weenie. Okay. Um, the best thing in the last 24 hours, ooh, <sighs> that's a good one. You know, I'm going to go with Fast and Brilliant. <laughs> I needed that. I needed to know that I, I don't have to be delicate. I can be, I can be strong, and I will be. Okay, yesterday, I forgot to show you all my love in the mail, so I'm going to show you now. Okay. And I hope you can see your cards. Again, I don't know what I'm filming, so because I can't see once I turn it around. Okay, here you go. Thank you, Daily Dosers. I just, I'm still amazed, totally, that people send things snail mail. It just, it's so incredible to me. And it just warms your heart. There's just nothing like it. It's just truly spirit lifting, so... Okay, thank you so much. Love back at ya. Mwah. There, okay. I will thank you so much for holding me accountable to having a positive attitude, and I'll see you tomorrow. Be nice on your April Fool's jokes. Okay, all right, bye. They're fun to do.